We are here to evolve and not to be happy. People are looking for happiness. First, they don't know what it is. They are looking in the wrong place and at the wrong time. What is my mission? The set of depression is happiness. My joy is sadness. Joy is a momentary emotion in which I feel good when I feel it and I also infect the people around me with joy. Happiness is quite different. Happiness is a state, a construction. Then you will say, but by it, what is happiness? Of course, it's quite complex, but let's assume like this, what is happiness for the sun? Why does the sun exist? To illuminate the heat to generate life. What is happiness for an apple tree? To have fruits. Now, what is the purpose of human beings? Because the way we are all born human. Now, becoming a human being is a construction process. So much so that I say in the book that happiness is a verb, because you have to practice. You learn to discover the following. If the meaning of life for the sun is to warm up, the meaning of life for an apple tree is to give apples, what is the meaning of my life? Because the great problem of human beings is that they forget that they are beings like any other. We are here, for example, to evolve and not to be happy. So, the moment I put it like this, what is my mission? And I walk the path to reach this mission, I am being happy. I am generating what nature expects of me. So much so that useless things end up with time. Nature does not support uselessness. For example, things that are concrete and truly done with good intentions, they are almost eternal. There is a saying that goes like this, everyone fears time. Time fears the pyramids of Egypt. Why? The pyramids of Egypt were made with such intensity, intention, that it will be there 100, 200 from now, exactly. So, nature demands that everything you put your hand on, you do it with a mission, with purpose, with meaning. Because otherwise you're out, you're out of the game. The game of life has to be a game of sharing, it has to be a game of finding my meaning and purpose. Then you'll say, okay, buy it, but how do I know? Why does the meaning have to do with what was given to it? We were given something called free will and the ability to reflect and think. The best gift and the biggest problem. The greatest punishment. Because if you don't know how to use it. Because everyone else, for example, the sun he cannot choose. But with us it is different. But what happens? We forgot that we have this meaning and purpose. Because meaning has to do with what nature has given you so that you know where you are going to walk. So the meaning has to do with the talents and gifts that we gain. What doesn't bear fruit, somehow it gets lost. There is no way to. It's a rule of nature. You are here to serve. For example, what it does not drink water. The apple tree does not eat the apple. So we have an obligation to discover the meaning of life. And then the universe is so cool that it gave you tips. What is the talent thing? No one has a talent for nothing. What happens is that people in general, if you don't have a good education, children come with very clear talents. And what happens? At least in my generation. Ah, uh, no, this is not a drawing, no. That you now have, it will not give money. Now you don't. Today things are changing because everything is capable of generating money. So, in a sense, if you have a nice education and you detect it in your child from a very early age, what is the meaning of his life? Which is exercising that talent, exercising that gift, improving, receiving others and moving forward. Now, what about the purpose? The purpose is when I take it to transform my life into a better person and also afterwards I share it. So, when I take the meaning and share it, then I reach the glory of life. It's such happiness. We must not forget that we are social beings. So, we were born to reach the other, to connect with the other. This is in our death. That's why we have empathy. So, like this, and we live today, you talked about people passing everything. I wanted to believe that people passed it, like, don't miss this place. That's one thing. Today, there's a large portion of social networks that post to cause me and the other. And it's sad. So much so that one of the things that I think takes people away from this condition of being human or sharing is ostentation. 
We live in a society where you are valued by the brand you use. So, today there is a mass movement, and this is very bad, where people are deluding themselves. Crude said something that went more or less like this, but will remember the phrase, he said like this, people don't want the truth. People want the lie. The mass was never really interested. But she doesn't live without delusion. Where we live today, perhaps I say that people are looking for happiness. First, they don't know what it is. They are looking in the wrong place and at the wrong time. Because then you can only be happy here and now. Everything else does not exist. The time we have on a clock is an abstraction. Time is such a mechanical entity. It doesn't sustain itself. When I come here, space, I come here, I can come here. Oi. But I will never go back in the same time. So it's a fluid entity. How do you define this thing? You need, in order to live in this world, to organize yourself. But this is an abstraction. People no longer live in the now. The head is always in the future or the past. But I'm here with you right now. If I was with my son, that would be. And the person is with the child, with the cell phone, thinking about something else. And you are doing something else. You say, I would like to spend more time with my son. How were you with your son? You already realize that the time for happiness is now. It's now. Whatever happens at this very moment, this is the best thing in my life that is happening. And if I don't enjoy this moment now, I'll regret later not enjoying it. There are those people who spend years and are like, who stole my time. <coughs> no, they stole. You just weren't there when he was. So, this abstraction that people make of the future tense, I'm going to be happy. Keep have that right. I'll be happy when I graduate, I'll be happy when I get that job, I'll be happy when I get married, when I have a child, I'll be happy when I retire. But why throw happiness there, right? Because people think that's it, because people have the wrong parameters of happiness. I see people say, oh, when I retire, I won't do anything. Man, nature eliminates you if you keep doing nothing. You're going to get Alzheimer's, you know. It will be eliminated from the game. Because nature, it punishes who? Uselessness. So, this dream of staying, I'm going to lie down, doing nothing. I want to retire one day, but to do other things. Make other mistakes. I don't allow myself to make the same mistakes. So, I think people, for example, why a survey that was done in the countries that the World Forum put the following, the easiest age for people to be happy is in childhood, when we don't have any expectations about the life. Does everything surprise you? Even because the child has no concept of time. When you tell the child like that, Daddy will take you to Disney. It starts like this, Dad, Disney is tomorrow. Dad, when is December? And the more anxious, the more obsessive the child becomes. So he lives the immediate moment. Yeah, damn, that's cool. So, like, the child doesn't have this thing that he wants now. He liked it, let's repeat. There's a lot to learn, because they don't have expectations about the expectations we have about them. Children who have no expectations of what we think about them, it's fantastic. And another best stage to be happy is from 60 years old. Wait. Because then you're already in that selectivity, like, I shit, others think of me. This is great, because like this, her predisposition to happiness is much greater than when she was 30, 40, you know. So, these two blocks of age make us. So, we have to learn from those over 60 than those under 10. And I think the worst age, well, of course, in general, is 30, 35. A part you're working on the most, which demands more, and you compare it with your friends, right? Well, yes, General. But I tell you what, these kids who are making money, the digital generation, who are making a lot of money very early, they anticipated everything. So, they have anguishes and reflections about the life that they are not old enough or experienced to be experiencing. A guy aged 18, 21 years ago goes. And it's a hit on the internet. Imagine the guy has to deal with a lot of money, with a lot of interested people. With charge. Demanding, because one day he's here, then the other day the numbers drop, everyone demands, they say, man, you have to make more content. The guy can't. And then you'll see that deep down it's not the money. There comes a time when he is addicted to approval. And then he doesn't have that maturity, which is like, guys, I'm sorry, I'm not an anonymity, nor will I be. 
And it is not for nothing that these great personalities, you see, these young people of the digital world, it will make great depressions. It's too early. Not all the money in the world will give you happiness, not all the fame in the world will give you that. Otherwise, there wouldn't be several actors and singers. It doesn't need anything. Nowadays we are very much like this, when someone dies now very famous, put it like this, the adversary did not want to comment on the cause of death. People soon think, most likely, that the person committed suicide. It was a lot of justification. And perhaps the only fault is where that person has fallen into losing their meaning and purpose. And it is so interesting that the more we have self-knowledge, the more we have knowledge of the human species of human history, which is so cyclical, right? I see people suffering through historical moments, I say, this will pass. Because it's over. We have already lived through the Middle Ages. We've lived through war. This is all repeated. It's a repeating wave. So I think, Age, when you combine self-awareness with knowledge, you have a baggage that you look at, say, this has already happened.